Hello friends and welcome to another Climate Australia styling video where I take two outfits and for each outfit I create five different looks in total, 10 different looks that will take you from chic to casual and everything in between. The great thing about these outfits is that you can swap out and basically shop your wardrobe to add in a number of different accessories. However, at the start, I have used some of the accessories that I've bought recently from Kmart just to style this outfit. These outfits are all under $100 each, which makes them all super affordable. The first item I'm going to show you is this drop waist dress. This drop waist dress has got a V neckline, puffy three quarter sleeves, an attached fabric belt and a drop waistline towards the hem, which makes it really fun. And the best thing is that this dress has got pockets. You know me, I love myself a dress with pockets. It just makes it so easy to wear. It just gives it extra flexibility that if you don't want to carry a bag, you can put your, your credit card, your lip gloss, and maybe your car key inside your pocket and you're done. All you've got to carry is your phone. To start off with this dress, the first look is a very casual look that you can take to the market, you can take grocery shopping, or you can just take it out for a lunch out with your friends. I've swapped out the fabric belt that the dress comes with. I find that those belts are quite, um, they're useful, you know, if you don't have a belt at home, there's certainly something that you can use to attach to a dress. However, I always find that swapping out that fabric belt for something else with the, a little bit more character just elevates the dress from something quite plain to something a little bit more obviously elevated. I've coordinated this with the plated belt that I recently also bought from Kmart. I love this belt. You would have seen it in my last video that I just went up on Saturday. I'll link that down below in case you missed it. I've then coordinated it with the new two strap block heels. I love these heels because they're not too high, but they're chunky enough that they give you a lot of stability. They're comfortable to wear. I can wear these all day long and still be able to keep walking without my feet hurting or actually getting sore. And I love these also because of the two pattern design. The bottom strap is a plain leather strap, but the, the top strap is a braided strap, which sort of takes up the braiding of the belt as well. I've added two little chains that I bought recently and some hoop earrings to my ears, added some sunglasses, the hat that I also purchased from Kmart and the rope bag, which can take me anywhere. I love this bag. I love its versatility. I love the way it looks with this dress. This is look number one. Look at number two, a simple way to create more definition to a fairly basic shaped dress is to use the belt that the dress comes with. Turn the dress around so you can get it fitting just perfectly on your waist and then tie the belt on the behind of the dress. Flip the dress around and there you've got a perfectly fitted dress showing off your silhouette. Here, all I'm doing now is adding my trusty sunglasses, my trusty high-heeled strappy sandals, and my trusty tan matching bag. I love in the summer white with tan accessories. I just think it elevates the dress. It just makes a white outfit so chic, and I absolutely love it. What do you think of this simple white and tan look? So easy to style and yet so elevated, so chic, so elegant. I think you can take this dress out anywhere with these kind of accessories. Now let's have some fun with this dress. How about we use it almost like a long line shirt? Let me show you. Here I've added just a simple tube skirt in this lovely blue color. I think I bought this from Kmart last year. I also bought the matching tank top underneath. But for this look, I thought I would just wear the skirt underneath as a pop of color. Pick the color up by some lovely beaded necklace that I have here around my neck. Add white accessories and the look is complete. What do you think of this third look? Simple, but just that pop of color. And of course, you could add any color to this. You could add an orange or a red or a green. I just thought this blue just screamed out to me just because it was so nautical. White and blue to me just screams summer. What do you think of this new third look? Fun, right? With look number four, I've swapped out 
the skirt and added in the tank top that's in the same color. This is a sleeveless tank top, which I absolutely love. And I love combining blue and white. Again, just for that nautical beach side effect. Get the beads, the blue beads, which just resonates so well with this top. And also pick up the color of the wallet. I've got an old wallet, big, large blue wallet. That's exactly the same color as these beads, which I'm adding into this outfit and putting on some linen pants. These are very lightweight linen pants. They're actually beach bathers cover-ups, but you can just wear it underneath this dress and create a completely different but seamless look. I've added in my blue slides, which perfectly match the color of the top. And the whole thing is just cohesive and brought together. Added in my new trusty hat and my sunglasses. And this look can take me to a bar just across the road from the beach where I can sit back and enjoy a chilled glass of white wine. Let me know in the comments below, do you drink wine and what's your favorite wine to drink on a beautiful warm summer night? Look number four. And for look number five, how about going maybe a little bit more out there and adding a gorgeous bright pink a boyfriend shirt underneath the dress just to bring in a different element. Top this shirt over my white um, cropped jeans, which are the girlfriend jeans from Target. These are my recent favorite. I haven't found anything else to replace these yet. And I've added in my bright pop of color in my fun bright pink pumps and the bright pink bag coordinating it all together. Isn't this just such a fun look? I don't know. Would you wear it? I think I would. I think provided you've got self-confidence and you look like this is how it's meant to be, I think you could pull this look. This is one of my favorite looks. I just love the fun aspect of the bright pop of color, the high heels, the jeans. The dress worn is a nice long flowing dust coat. I think this is just a brilliant look. What do you think? Out of the five looks, which one is your favorite with this drop waist came out dress? Let me know in the comments below. And now let's play with outfit number two. Before we move to outfit number two, let me know in the comments below whether you like these styling videos or not. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. That lets me know that you enjoyed this video. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It does help my little channel grow and me be able to provide you some more content like this. Outfit number two consists of a two-piece ensemble, the linen wide-legged pants from Kmart and the boyfriend shirt. I love these boyfriend shirts. I just find them absolutely fabulous. I love them. I think I want one in every single color. Today's outfit, though, is the new Signet Green, which I think just screams summer, screams outdoor vibes, beautiful weather. What can I say? I couldn't control myself and I couldn't resist buying this as a set. Let me show you in look number one how I style this. So outfit number two consists of this signet green shirt, boyfriend shirt with the wide-legged linen pants. I love these linen pants. They're so flowy and comfortable. They come with pockets so you can actually put in something in them, whether it be a hair tie, a tissue or a lip gloss. You've got room for those and you don't have to carry a wallet because then you can just put your credit card in there and just hold on to your phone. Perfect pair of pants. I love this signet green. It reminds me almost of that 90s vibe of the neon bright colors. Absolutely love it. Takes me back to that time. However, what I've done with this boyfriend shirt just to make it a little bit more different and add a little bit of interest to it is I've used a bangle, tied it in on the inside at the rear of the shirt, tied a hair tie around it, and now suddenly the shirt is no longer just an oversized boxy shirt. It just has that little bit of interest in the back that just screams just a little bit different. So then I've tucked in the front of the shirt into the linen pants. Again, just to create a little bit of contrast, highlight the silhouette, show off a little bit of the waist, creating the illusion of a nice slim waistline. Added in some high heel slides. These are old ones from last season. I bought them from Cotton On, I think. And this is a perfect little outfit. I've topped it off with the sun hat, sunglasses, and the rope bag just to take me anywhere. Beach, market, shopping, or, or just out for lunch. With look number two, let's add in a simple white tank top 
throw on a beaded necklace and a contrasting color. I love the orange against this gorgeous green. It just screams fun to me. And then let's just leave the shirt open over the tank top showcasing the necklace and the gathered pants look at the waist. I've added in the slides from Kmart that I showed you in my last video, add on our sunglasses and that gorgeous clutch that I've had forever. Every once in a while, I just find the perfect outfit to coordinate it to. And today, this outfit is it. It just screamed to me that color and that clutch. I absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous pop of orange, but it's got some copper tones to it, and it's also got some beige to it. Absolutely gorgeous against the contrast of the green. What do you think of look number two for this outfit? Let's change out the look completely and make the linen pants the star of the show. I've topped it up this little top that I bought recently also from Kmart. I'll link it down below. I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. Added a long line chain that I've looped around the neck, creating a bit of a choker look with the long necklace underneath it. Added my trusty high heel white sandals just to give me that extra 10 centimeters of height and length in the legs, elevating this look and creating what I think is a very chic, maybe dinner time outfit or maybe late afternoon look. And what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I think this look can take you to a nice restaurant for lunch or early drinks before dinner. You could top it up with a jacket of some sort, but I think on those beautiful warm summer nights, this would be a perfect outfit after hours to go out for a cool drink by the beach or even dinner out. For look number four, let's make the shirt, the boyfriend shirt, the star attraction. I've coordinated everything else out to just white, the white singlet top, the white linen pants, and kept the green shirt as the star attraction. But what I've added in are neutral colors that I can coordinate with accessories. I've added in the woven belt at the waist just to delineate the waist. You know what I'm like about delineating the waist underneath really boxy or big item of clothing. I then added in some tan slides. These linen pants are a little bit shorter than the green ones, so they wouldn't suggest wearing them with high heels. I would recommend wearing them with slides, flat slides, because then they're more likely to brush the bottom of your foot and not look odd with too much heel showing underneath it. So I've added in the slides, the tan slides, coordinated it to my tan belt and added in my sunglasses and the floppy hat. There is a complete look that can take you to the beach, to a walk along the beach, out to a park. It can take you out for multiple occasions. I think this outfit would tick all the boxes for casual chic. What do you think? And finally, for look number five, how about turning this boyfriend shirt into date night sexy? flip it around, leave it open to the back, wear a suitable bra, and then tie it around the waist, creating a, creating a tuxedo belt across the waist to delineate that part of the body. Add a gold chain looped around the neck, a bit like a choker, a bit like a long necklace, add some sparkly gold heels. I love these ones. They zip up at the back. They're super comfortable, but so pretty. And a dress like this, I just feel like my husband's going to be very impressed. Let me know in the comments below, which was your favorite look? Hmm, this one's going to be a bit of a tough one, I think. I don't even know which one is my favorite look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know by hitting the thumbs up button also commenting in the comments. And if you're new and haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help my little channel grow and reach a more people like you who might be interested in the content that I produce. I hope wherever you are, you're healthy, having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.